Yeah, no, thanks, uh, Shupi, and good uh, afternoon to members of the media. No, Bumamuru, uh, uh, of course, a very difficult side. Uh, they played, uh, since playing us, they played uh, a game on Sunday. And they drew 1-1. Uh, we still know that they've got some very good players in the... Especially Valentin and Eldinho in the midfield. Uh, Valentin up front, the number 11, very aggressive, fast, uh, with good possibilities for goals. Eldinho with the play and also f with shots from outside the box. Kizimana was very good as a centre back. They missed Bangala, the number five. Uh, I, I thought when we did analysis, was probably one of their best players. But uh, the other left-footed centre back, Mama, was also very good, and so a good team with a lot of possibilities. Uh, typical uh, team in the Champions League with physicality and speed and and a good threats on set pieces. So we've got to be ready. And uh, and make sure we just we just get the the job done and see the team in the in the group stages. No, no, not at all. I'm not uh, concerned about it because some of the some of the bookings I've I've thought have not been bookings, um, and some of the situations I think, yeah, some some of the situations we've been on the receiving end. Some of the situations we have not been on the receiving end, but that's football, you know. So. Uh, let's let's go with it and let's see how far we can we can go. We we, we do a lot of analysis. We we check the situations. We speak with the players, even ab about yellow cards. We've done a, an entire presentation on that and some of the situations where we we've analysed some of the bookings, some of the fouls, and even some of the decisions that didn't go for us. Uh, so so. We try to tidy up our game a little bit more and try to make less mistakes. Uh, we speak a lot about our performances one-on-one uh, -on -one with the players, sometimes in the group. Um, but, but yeah, not, not concerned because our, our main priority is the result. And the result allows us to, to continue to get confidence and continue working. So very proud of the players for, for everything they've done at the moment. Yeah. Good afternoon to everyone. Um, yeah, look, the, this is the Champions League. Um, the, there's never an easy game, uh, even though we are we are falling up after the first leg. Um, we we continue to prepare for every game the same, because it's it's the culture of the club, uh, and we want to win every match. So we go into this game with the same mentality. It's a it's a whole new game. Um, I think they are going to come out maybe a little bit more aggressive than what it was there because they know what they have to to overcome if they want to go through but also we know what we need to do because it's it's our duty to the club and to ourselves to to put us in the group stages yeah very important i think we've got a big squad and we have to use everybody um, and everybody was one of my concerns when we reopened and started the new season and um, i listed a couple of concerns with the players and, and credit to them because a lot of the things that we spoke about, they've really, really worked on. And one of those was 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 the level dropping when we've rotated the team and not just the level dropping in, in relation to results. There were so many of the results, for, like Meritzburg, for an example, we should have won. Stellenbosch, when we rotated, we should have won. Amazon, when we rotated to two, we should have won. Uh, and uh, but if you look at 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 also the performances when we were not as good uh, as 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 the performances when we didn't make rotations, and so one of the most important things that we even started working on from preseason, even uh, in the friendlies that we played, was to to instill the same type of mentality within the players and uh, as I said even earlier credit to them because because they've done exceptionally well with uh, with that and you see it even in the friendly games um, it was a very very good friendly game three weeks ago against uh, where we were we, we we had we had some of the youngsters playing and some of the senior players play and 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 the performance was very very good very very good and so that gives us a lot of confidence to to trust 
uh, the players, but also the players also give each other trust because because it's important that they trust each other and they know that when they won't fail each other, they'll work hard for each other and and even in difficult moments, they can rely on each other to 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 break each other up and support each other. So, yeah, it was a was a, an important consideration, but it, it's it's something that's also an important part of big clubs. Big clubs, you, you I mean. Uh, Yesterday I, I got home. The first thing I, I I watched was Manchester City to to see why they lost or how they lost to Newcastle, and I saw the rotations and and this happens even at the, that that level and 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 the, and every single player has to perform and assist the team to 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 get the results and and it's not easy. And Manchester City is a good example yet last night how difficult it is. So you've got to give a lot of credit to to the players and. Um, the game of football belongs to them, and they big, big compliments to them for what for on, on on making sure that they produce even with the rotations. Um, you know, first of all, credit must must go to the coach and the rest of the technical team. Um, it's it's not easy to be out for so long, and then you come come back. You're having coaches and technical team that that believes in you, you know, and um, I think the the, the preseason was was a good stepping stone. I think a good preseason always sets you up, you know, to to be part of part of the the bigger picture for the for the whole season. And you know, and credit to my teammates as well. You know, they they've been so encouraging. And it's easy to 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 to, to stay with the team because there there's so much harmony in the team. And you know, it's it's like I've I i have not been away. You know, to to be part of this group. You know, it's it's a privilege. And to be with so much quality every day just makes it so much easier to come back into the team after such a long layoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want first? Uh, my answer is very simple. Um, no, there's no... I, To be honest with you, uh, I'd be I'd be lying if I said I did not think the Royal AM would be postponed. I, I, in, in our thoughts, in our discussions, even as a group, we, we had that feeling that it would be postponed, but of course you need to wait until it's... Um, official and, and in writing so nothing changes is the, the next game is the most important one and we'll select the team based on what we see on the opposition so we've got some work to do tonight uh, on the opposition and, and we try to put out a team that is, is, is capable of winning that game in relation to what that game needs uh, on Saturday look uh, it's it- it's it's never easy to to adjust to to new things uh, for us as footballers. Uh, for a lot of us, you know, we we like to be comfortable, but then there are some of us who, who, who likes the challenges as well. And um, we 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 worked on on this um, formation or this role for me since the second week of preseason. You know, so so we've had quite a lot of time to to work on it and. So far, I've been enjoying it, and I feel like I'm I'm growing into it more now. And I think it can only get better as as the season progresses. Uh, you know, you go first. Just... Okay. Uh, look, uh, my my focus at the moment is 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 on the team. Uh, is trying to stay fit, uh, play as many games as I can. Um, what happens in regards to Bafana, that's that that's up to the coach. Uh, I can't do anything about that. All I can control is 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 my performances, and obviously to to repay the fight that the technical team has shown in me. Um, it's it's a it's a good question, uh, and it's it's also tricky because um, I met uh, Coach Hugo for the first time in person at Orlando. Uh, we had very very kind words exchanged and we promised each other a coffee so there's quite a lot that we are going to sit and have a good discussion also because there is a majority of Sundowns players in the Bafana national team already I already also have a feeling that they should be more uh, based on the performances of the players and based on the fact that the national team should be about meritocracy and the best players must play for the national team we with the river in particular, and even though I must make a disclaimer and say, if, of course, it's important to to accept, understand, and respect Hugo Bros's role as the head coach, 
and that he will always for sure have my support and 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 uh, the support of this football club mm, but interestingly we were ha actually having this discussion um in the bus last night with uh, coach Wendell and uh, my feelings are that uh, particularly with Rivaldo is is he's important for the big games he the, the, he, he He's, he's got what you call the big match temperament, which is which is the ability to 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 not be scared in in difficult moments and in pressure situations. Which, if you go to competitions like Afghan and you get into games of consequence and you play quarterfinals, semifinals against Nigeria, Ivory Coast, you need players that have the 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 personality to perform and 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 the fearlessness and reliance that. Uh, but of course, the style of play is a little bit different. The role would be a little bit different. I, I'm not so sure whether he would drive into the midfield and and and, and play in, the, in those type of situations with Bafana. But but when needed, his versatility, his ability to play on the left and the right of of the back four in 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 the center, whereas a left foot that is just as good as the right foot, if not better. And even though he is right footed. He's got football brains, you know. So he, we have a lot of discussions with River about football, and I, and sometimes I I'm, I'm boggled by his level of of maturity, but also the the things that he picks up and the details that he sees. And uh, he's also a player that can play as a six. He's a player that can play as an eight. So a player that that is able to cover these type of positions, center back, left, right, uh, six in in a single pivot, in a double pivot on the left, on the right, and on the double pivot, maybe even as an eight in a diamond, you can get these possibilities because of the uh, the technical abilities. But um, as I said, at the end, for sure, is 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 for him to continue to play the way he's playing, uh, stay injury free. Uh, that's the biggest, biggest, biggest pressure I put on him also, is, 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 is to recover, uh, look after your body uh, and make sure that you play games because you see the challenges with uh, with players that are, um, that are talented and, and where the level is, is the responsibility for, for playing is not just for yourself. Is 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 putting yourself in a space where you give the privilege of making so many people happy by you being available on the pitch, and when you have this approach and this mentality of being selfless and servantship, you have then a greater understanding of how important it is not only to manage your, your talent but your career, and this is the biggest thing with River is that he's been dealt certain cards by God by the universe. And now he's got to man manage those cards, and he's got to do the best that he can to make sure that his uh, his career still progresses, his talent still grows, and 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 he fulfills his potential. Because I still don't think Rua has fulfilled his potential, and that's even crazy to even think about. So uh, yeah, let's see how far we can go. It's an interesting position for him. He, he he does it very very well for us, and he helps us a lot. And uh, I think he would, well, of course, definitely be a very useful tool for Bafana. No, look, there there, there was never any doubt in my mind um, that this is all I've wanted to do all my life. Um, so I knew that it's it's going to require a little bit more, and the, the mental part is 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 very big, uh, especially in in sports in, in general. Um, and then also you have all these amazing people around you, you know, that guide you, that helps you. A little bit of extra work as well in the gym where the physios uh, focus a lot on, on the recovery. So th there was never any doubt. Uh, I knew that I would come back to mm -hmm. just about being mentally strong and, you know, be always being in good shape. Like I says, take take care of your body and take care of your, your career as well. So I, I always knew that, that I would come back uh, and then it's a matter of, you know, what control what you can and that is to be your best uh, at training every day, whether it's in the gym, on the pitch, and then the, the rest is up to, to the technical team then. Yeah, no, look, uh, if, if everyone has a cup of tea. Uh, people always have uh, opinions. 
but for for me i i feel appreciated yeah this club very much so um so yeah look uh it, it it's been a while since since i've been in the pafana setup but uh, as i said earlier my my main aim is to is to stay fit play as many games as i can because i've been out for i think about a year which which is too long uh so now it's just to focus uh stay fit and try to help the team as as, as much as i can no i i think i've i've, I've developed uh, a lot since i came here that that's when i moved into sixth position and you know that that can only benefit you um especially in the long term because you, you you can cover uh, different positions you know when whenever the team needs someone to play in this position because that player is not there you know i can i can step in so uh facility is is, is good in 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 football and i think it it has helped me to to develop and be even better but more so sorry Lawrence but more so in the in the way the game is going because you need players like like Herman now uh, that are able to play m multiple positions even in one game Exactly. So now River plays center back, which is what he was playing. Uh, I was fortunate enough also to to witness River's youth career. Uh, we we had a very good game. I remember Sundowns versus uh, Ajax in in Cape Town with uh, with on our team. We had Percy, the Nate Marisha, Marco, uh, and and then their team they had Nurdin, and it was it was unbelievable. Mobara River. I, I remember Ada Mobara River making a the goal line clearance last minute uh, with from Basaka Marco we had Kai Shozi also in the same team uh, but football is moving in that space where he, I mean yesterday we made how many examples of how many players you find and now you watch football and you're like but what what position is this guy playing F formations have gone completely out the window and, and now it's about the picture and what does the picture say and if the picture says from center back drive into left, left midfield, then you've got to occupy that and then behave like a left midfielder, even though you are a center back. And the demands, of course, from a technical, tactical perspective, the profile is 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 completely different. And so you've got to have these these abilities and 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 maybe in hindsight, uh, River having moved into six earlier, and then coming back and playing now as a center half, we we had a an interesting discussion at the end of the season and at the start of the season about his position the way we see the final game of the season last uh, last year against Magnusburg for us in the league he played in this similar position and we were testing it out and trying to see whether or not it could work and uh, in hindsight I would say that having played now as a six before in, in a single pivot and, and being comfortable in the midfield and 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 of course, with his background of uh, in, in the youth formation and coming up from from a centre back, that allows him to now be able to fulfil both these uh, these positions during ninety minutes and 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 maybe even maybe even more more positions, you know. But his his athleticism, his uh, his 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 level of intelligence. Um, allows him to be a modern player and the modern player is a player that is able to to find himself and comfortable in any area of the pitch and and that's very 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 important no look uh i, I will always be grateful to, to this club um they they bought me when i was injured and they knew that uh, i would not play for the first year um and then last year as well, I was injured for for a full year again, and the club has been very good to me. I I, I can't I can't thank them enough. Um, so now it's it's about me, you know, um, repaying the faith that that they have shown in me. Like you said, many teams can terminate uh, contracts, but there there was never any any discussion of that, of of terminating or letting me go. Uh, they they always believed in me, and all I can do is is to stay fit and help the team and and this club as as much as possible. Yeah, scale would scale would be a, a very 
strong word though. But uh, but I but I would assume that I think I think we all know the players know. I know the technical staff know. I think our feelings are that we can we can definitely get better, and we know that we can play better. We can uh, we can be a little bit better in certain moments, both on and off the pitch. It's, uh, uh, there's a lot of things we even speak about in relation to the culture, in relation to body language and, and small elements that are, uh, I mean, like goal celebrations, for an example, where a lot of people don't even pay attention to those type of things. But we speak about those things. And uh, these are the small things that are uh, the details that we focus on for sure. And we do that because we, we know we can get better. Um, but 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 getting better with, with an expectation and getting better practically are two completely different things. And uh, I always say, even to the players, if there's one creation that God made that that no nobody can answer, including science, I mean, you know how how tall uh, an oak tree will grow, and once it grows, that is is that's that's its maximum. You know how big a whale can grow, and some some don't fulfill the full potential, but there are many that grow to that and the size and that's the maximum you you know how a lily a lily flower or a whatever you, there's a lot of creations that have maximum ceilings and limits except human beings the, the one creation god created that can go enormously beyond and above expectations and should never be kept is is, is the human potential and uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure if it scares me, but um, it actually, it actually excites me because the challenge is how 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 better can we become? How how many more games can we win? Uh, how 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 much better can we play? And and how many more ideas can we infuse into this team? That's that's what excites me. Um, so so yeah. I, I don't know if scared is the right word, but but more an element of excitement because also before being a football coach, I'm a football fan and I love watching football. And, and, and this group happens to be a team or a group that I just love watching them play. And uh, for as long as we, we stay focused on those and we stay focused on the processes and we stay focused on the small details, I'm sure we can we can even surprise ourselves with uh, uh, the capacity that we can we can reach as a as a as a team and as a group and and for as long as there's still that opportunity and there's that chance we have to keep striving for that. It's like um, someone said to me last night. Uh, it's like uh, perfection. Perfection is that carrot that is dangled in front of you. You can't eat it, but you still chase it. And that's what we, we're trying to do. We're trying to chase perfection. The, the carrot is dangled in front of us, but but we know very well that even if we we, we can get a little bit close to it, and the realities are that we we can't even eat it. And and that for me is uh, uh, what I think excites us and motivates us to, to come to work every single day and see how how better can we become. And, and once we've re reached the better, how better can we become of the better? And then get better and keep getting better and better and better and better and that's and that's what we strive to do every single day here. Yeah. But I think yours is easier. Yeah. yeah. Uh look, we, 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 we all feel the pain of, of, of what happened last season. We were so close. Uh, it's not like we, we, we lost a game then that's why we're out of the Champions League. You know, we we out based on uh the away goal though. And that, that that will be a learning curve for us for this season. Um, we, we we discussed why we didn't go to the final, and I think uh, the the main part was uh, our first leg, which was always away. Um, I think we only won in the quarter in the quarterfinals away, and then semifinals we 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 drew, and I think. Um, this year we 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 preparing you know to to go into the first leg to 
to win it and try to kill the game off as we've done now in this preliminary round. But we also know that there's a Champions League and it's it's never over. Um, even a 4 0 scoreline, we still prepare for, for that second leg the same way as we prepare for every other game. Um, would I back this team 150%? Um, otherwise, I, I shouldn't be coaching them. They have my undivided, unreserved confidence. And um, it's not a question of backing, it's a question of understanding of how difficult that, 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 that the dream is. It's not a, it's not a goal, it's not an obsession, it's a dream. It's something that we work, we work for every single day to win every single match. That's the responsibility we have at this football club. And, and, and the support and the backing, the group knows that I've got, or they've got from me 150%. But it's also to accept how difficult that is and understanding that, as I've said it before, that even the, the team that attempted to do an Operation Fight Alice, it didn't even win the league. And that, was, and that has always been and will always be the most important trophy in any domestic competition. And sometimes because we've won it so many times uh, with, with Sundowns, uh, the, the feeling of winning the league championship sometimes is, that it is diluted and is not as strong as it should be because there is no other competition where you have to play every opponent twice. You have to play home, you have to play away, you have to play 30 games and you have to maintain consistency over maybe seven, eight months. And that's very, very difficult. And therefore, if you go to the English Premier League, if you ask Man City today, Man United today, Chelsea today, Liverpool today, which title would you put as the number one target? They would tell you the English Premier League. For sure, no, no doubt. You go to France, PSG, ask them, which, which of the trophies that you are competing in is your number one priority? They will tell you that it's uh, the league R. You go to the Bundesliga, you go to Bayern, you go to Dortmund and you ask them, which one is the priority Champions League or the Bundesliga? They will tell you is to win the Bundesliga. And, and, and that's the same with, with us here. And so we should never, ever, ever take it for granted that we, we have a God-given right to win everything and, and a God-given right to, to to win every match and to win every championship is is that to do that is very very difficult, and 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 as you rightfully said, for the mere fact that it's never been done before, speaks to how difficult it is, and that's but we we still attempt, uh, it's it's that uh, that that ideology of perfection and once again, is is something that you know you can chase, but chasing it does not necessarily mean you can. They reach it, but you still chase it. And that is what we try to do. We try to chase winning every single match. Can we win every single match? Of course not. Not in, in competitive sports. You've got to lose some, you've got to win some. And in fact, you grow more when you lose. Uh, and, and, and you go to any of the greatest in the world in different sporting codes. They've lost more than they've won. The best in the world. Yes, yesterday, Pep, Guardiola lost, Man, Man City lost. Uh, they've, they've lost the Champions League how many times? Uh, for the first time in, in eight attempts, he won the Champions League with Man City. It's very, very difficult. So, so in, in, in competitive sport, you've got to be prepared to win, lose, or draw. But that doesn't mean you go and you go every day saying, oh, but uh, let me prepare to lose. It's, there's no chance. We, we prepare every single match to win. We want to win every match. But we accept that there will be times where we are not going to win every single match. And when there are games that we are not going to win, and there are trophies that we are not going to win. But, but we will definitely give it our very, very best to win every single thing. That's one thing for sure. 150%. We will give it 150% effort and commitment and conviction and everything that we have to try to win every single match. 
and as as far as good shakes go, no, um, um, I'm not proud to say it, but we we haven't been in touch in a while. I think maybe that's some something to look at, cause in all honesty, he he really he opened so so many doors for me, and I'll always be be grateful to him for for what he's done for me personally and for my career as well. Can I now? Cool. Hey. Let's leave that right now. Thank you so much for having me. You pushed the most important.